What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. And I'm back with another smartphone review. Today I've got my hands on the new mobile X5. Now this is a budget smartphone with an octa-core CPU, Android version 7 and lots more. You can pick this up right now for under $150 and today we'll find out how good this smartphone really is. So let's begin with a very quick unboxing. Inside the box you will find a user manual, a micro USB charging cable, a USB power brick, a pair of headphones with some spare earbuds, a screen protector and this is a real tempered glass screen protector which is awesome. You also get a very decent flip leather case. And last but not least the smartphone itself. So here it is guys the new mobile X5. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So you have a 5.5 inch 1080p IPS display with a pixel density of 400 pixels per inch. So the display is nice and bright with vibrant colors and sharp detail. Viewing angles are also not bad. You have an octa-core CPU, 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. You have a single 13 megapixel camera on the back and a 5 megapixel front camera. This supports dual micro SIM cards. It's factory unlocked to all networks and can work in all countries. Furthermore, you have a 2950 milliamp battery. So the smartphone is made from an all metal body with a very nice finish and curved rounded corners. The smartphone feels very comfortable in the hands and I'm actually quite surprised to how premium this looks and feels, especially as this is only a $150 smartphone. The bezels are very tiny going all the way around and at the bottom you have your usual three touch buttons, back, home and menu. Now the fingerprint sensor is located on the back, it's quite easy to reach and does unlock the smartphone accurately every single time. However, I would not say that it is the fastest fingerprint sensor I've ever used, but nevertheless it is still pretty good. Now this smartphone is 8.7mm thin and weighs only 173 grams. At the bottom of the device you will find a microphone, a micro USB charging port and a speaker. On the side you have a volume rocker and power buttons which are both made from metal and they feel quite nice to the touch, they do not wobble about at all. And on the top we have the most wanted 3.5mm audio jack. On the side you have a dual sim card tray which can take two sim cards or one sim card and one micro SD card. So let's see how this device handles full HD streaming and gaming. We are going to begin with a YouTube test and you can stream a maximum of 1080p videos on YouTube. So let's go ahead and play the first video. So that was the YouTube test. This smartphone has pretty decent specs, but can it handle any big games? Let's find out in the gaming test. Coming to the cameras, on the back you have a single 13 megapixel camera with an f2.2 aperture and on the front you have a 5 megapixel selfie camera. Now this is a very cheap budget smartphone and for the price I'm not expecting a great camera. Nevertheless check out some of these samples and you guys can decide what you think of this camera.
for you advanced users, this supports Google Widevine level 3. You have root access from default and in the Wi-Fi speed test we got download speeds of 19 megabits per second and upload speeds of 9 megabits per second. This is quite a decent score considering my top internet speed I currently get is between 15 to 20 megabits per second. Here are the Geekbench scores for single and multi-core and in the Antutu benchmark test we got a total score of 41,947. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing smartphone chart for 2018 showing you all the latest smartphones and seeing how they compare with each other. So as you can see the new mobile X5 has taken position 24 on this chart. Now if we compare this smartphone to its own price bracket then here is the top performing smartphone chart for under $150. And again, all devices have been ranked by Antutu scores. And on this chart, the new mobile X5 has taken position 3 and thus becoming one of the top smartphones you can buy for under $150. You can view all my latest charts at chickstech.com. Stay tuned as we have lots more to come. So there you have it guys, that was the new mobile X5. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. Now this is an excellent budget smartphone priced $150. The build quality is premium, made completely from metal with a scratch resistant screen and I loved the curved corners. So I'm quite surprised how they managed to make this handset only 7.8mm thick. Making this smartphone slim and light and very comfortable in the hands. This smartphone does not by any means look or feel like a $150 budget handset. You have an octa-core CPU, everything was smooth and fast, I experienced no lag throughout my tests. All the games I tested played very well with no frame drops. YouTube videos played at full HD and they looked amazing. The camera was average. You can take some decent shots in good lighting, but of course not great in low lighting situations as expected. Battery life is also pretty good, giving you around one day on medium to light use. And this does support fast charging. The fingerprint sensor is on the back and it's easy to reach. Very accurate, but not as fast as I would have liked. You also have the full Google Play Store and Android version 7, Bluetooth and GPS built in. Bottom line, if you are on a budget, then this is one of the best smartphones you can get for $150. You can basically do everything on this. It has a great slim premium design and a very good performance to go with it. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and pick one up for yourselves. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this smartphone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.